Hello everybody, this is Yasmin from YarxperiFantasyArt.com and welcome to another illustration video tutorial. So what I decided to use as my main reference uh, for this drawing request was Azura's Wrath. And the main drawing request was quite simple. It was that I draw two anime-like characters in an epic battle. Uh, so the premise was very simple, um, but I really wanted to incorporate my own style along with um, some additional features and uh, character elements of the anime based characters. Uh, so for this reason I decided to go with Azuris's Wrath and uh, it's a very good video game. It's very cinematic and very epic looking uh, and I've watched a couple of playthroughs although I haven't actually purchased the game myself and because of the way it's designed, it has a lot of very well done character angles. And the character angles are always tremendously, they scale the character and they make the character look good pretty much on every shot, which is hard to do pretty much in anything. Uh, so for this reason, I used it as my main referencing tool uh, for this character design. So as you can see, I'm actually uh, plotting out all the muscles that I will be drawing for this character. And I have to do that because it just helps uh, tie in the elements my character design to Azura's Wrath. Now, I was obviously referencing uh, how the character's hair was, uh, the general proportions, and I had to still make it my own because I didn't want to copy the character. Copying the character doesn't really teach me how to reinterpret it in my own style. So for this reason I had to take those elements that I, I really liked and I had to make it my own. And what I noticed was as I was drawing this was that uh, the character's hands are always very large. Um, the hair had a lot of very sharp angles to it, which was very interesting because I have more of a animation base uh, background. So um, this is obviously different for me because we work with a lot of curves and all that. So um, working with more of the angles really helped force me to try out new things for the character designs. Uh, so as you can see, because I was experimenting with a new character design, I had to actually fully go out almost in detail, uh, figure out exactly how I was going to go about drawing these characters. This saves me a lot of initial time. And I did go through a couple different renditions before I settled on this pose. Once again, um, I wanted this to be very epic looking, because the whole point as of Azura's Wrath is that every shot is a beautiful shot. It's all done to make it look bigger than it is. It's it's supposed to have a massive scale. So it's important that I obviously portray this as much as possible between these characters battling. So I really had to force my, my posing in order to do that and the best way to do that is to really work out the line art. Uh, now I did do some initial tests too uh, bef that I'm not showing you for this. Um, just to figure out how I was actually going to go about painting this uh, before I actually started working on this. And I'm still experimenting on the final image because obviously I want to have uh, some of that uh, pastel look to this character, but I don't want to overdo it. And once again, I don't want to copy it. I want to give it my own feel. I want to give it um, some elements that are unique to my drawing style. Because copying doesn't essentially teach you very much uh, other than being able to copy. Uh, so I want to be able to retake and reinterpret uh, the information I've seen from that video game into my own style. So I'm really working out on the muscle uh, definition. It's a very important step for this character because uh, he's supposed to be over the top. The scene is over the top. Uh, so I really need to showcase that he is very much a power to be reckoned with. Now, you'll see this later, but I actually add... Um, light effects because he is actually a magic wielder uh, so you'll see that later on but for now I'm actually uh, using very much the colors that I was seeing in the Zero's Wrath and now I'm changing them. Uh, this is an important stage because like I said I don't want to copy it but I want to make it my own and this is where you experiment with the colors to figure out what works what doesn't. So I'm adding a couple of layers, I'm flattening layers, I'm doing a bunch of changes to help me figure this out. 
Um, and I also want to show just the right amount of detail because uh, I don't want to have too much detail. But at the same time, um, Azura's Raft does have a lot of emphasis on anatomy and structure and the overemphasis of those portions. Uh, so it's finding a good compromise between those two elements that will make this character more appealing and make him look even more formidable than he already is. So I'm just adding some cool colors in the shadows. Um, I'm doing this because uh, essentially as you move away from the, the highlighted areas, uh, these colors normally actually become uh, more desaturated and that gives it a cool like effect. Uh, so these are actually not a blue color, these are actually although they seem like it, they're actually more of a green tone um, at this moment in time. Uh, so I experimented obviously with some uh, color layers, uh, but I'm mostly using some normal layers that I'm just essentially painting on and then flattening as I go uh, to give me this character design. Uh, this entire drawing took about, I'd say, six hours, six to seven hours to do, uh, just because of the level of detail that was involved. And that included, as well, um, the experimental phase where I was trying to figure out, okay, how am I going to go about drawing this? Uh, so this included the analysis of the drawings as well. Uh, so overall, this drawing, the final image, probably only took about four or five hours to do. Um, once I had that figured out and once I figured out exactly how much detail I was going to add into the character. Because I did a lot of experimenting on this, which is obviously important because you learn more from that. Um, but because of that, it did take a little bit longer. Now, I already know that that secondary arm is the secondary arm, so I'm not going to be adding as much detail. Uh, so the foremost arm and the foremost part of the torso is the area that I'm concentrating on the most. Now I've just started working on the head. I'm just going to plot it out quickly um, as I work out uh, the hair elements. And once again, the hair, uh, I noticed in my reference material, was actually very angular. Uh, so I, I wanted to give that and show that in this drawing. So I've actually added the hair on a separate layer. Um, this makes it obviously easier for me to do editing. Um, and I can always delete it if I don't like it as well. Uh, so right now he has very much of a cartoony face. I ended up changing that, obviously, because it didn't fit with the rest of the character. Because uh, this character is more of an amalgamation of uh, anime-based like characters as well as a comic book character uh, that's over the top. So I'm just adding some of the additional design elements. Uh, I'm just roughing it in with the same color as the hair for now, but I'm actually filling it in later with a different color. Um, the reason why I'm doing that is just to figure out if the structure is working before I actually go out and add the additional colors that I need to. Just adding some additional detail to those uh, those design elements and I'm going to be shortly starting actually on the pants as well. Uh, you won't see very much of it just because of the angle that he's on um, but I will be adding it fairly soon. And as you'll notice I, I keep on going between uh, lighting up the character and darkening up the character um, once again, the reason why I'm doing that is I'm trying to figure out exactly how much detail I want to add to this character before it's too, too much. Because um, you obviously don't want to add too much detail, so I'm switching on and off my layers to figure out whether or not it is too much. Adding the pants in now. Just adding some basic details. Uh, this is more of a futuristic type character, um, but with a different twist as well. Uh, you'll see later on that he actually has uh, uh, some additional details that I will be adding into his spinal cord uh, just to really portray the fact that uh, he's both human but has some mechanical portions to him as well. Just fixing up the shading uh, because that portion of his back should actually be more cast in shadow so it has to be darker. I'm just working on uh, softening out some of those areas because it's still a little bit too pronounced. Um, I'm also trying to force out uh, that line, that band, so that the character pops out a bit more. Adding some additional details to the muscle structure. 
and I'm just sampling the colors that are already in there because I have enough colors as it is. Uh, so now it's just a case of using those colors uh, to the best of my ability. Toning back some elements because uh, they would once again recede more. And I've just and I've just started working on the hands. Um, I wanted to keep the hands very blocky because essentially uh, in Azura's Wrath they have very chunky hands. Uh, so by keeping the hands more blocky looking, um, it gives you more of that chunky aspect to it. Now most of the hands, uh, most of that hand will actually be hidden later on anyway. Uh, so I'm not too too worried about uh, the amount of detail that I add in that. So I'm adding some of the electronics in his back right now. I'm just popping out some of that information as I go and adding some of that connection to his spinal cord to help showcase that. Uh, adding some fingernails to him and refining some of the shapes for his hand and shadow. And now I'm just working on the hair. Um, as you can see, I'm just uh, adding a separate layer right on top, and I'm just um, essentially just emphasizing some of the detail. Working on uh, really pushing some of the elements that's further back to really show that they're in the light. I will add some additional colors to the lit area very shortly as I'm adding the, the effects that you'll see. Just hinting at the secondary hand. Once again, uh, that hand, you won't see it all that much uh, because it's further in the distance and it's also going to be um, pushing out some uh, of that energy as well. So I'm roughing out the character, the secondary character. As you can see, um, I'm not going overly detailed at all. I'm keeping it actually extremely simplified. Uh, and I'm just sampling the colors that I already have. And the reason why I'm not going into too much detail is, once again, he's created a shield. Uh, so essentially, this light is going to be uh, causing more of the detail to actually show up. And uh, because he's further in the distance, you wouldn't see all that much information from him. So I did want to add uh, a really odd looking uh, haircut to him. So uh, I added that in. And I softened some of the information as well. And now I'm just adding that same blue glow to the rest of the character uh, to help tie in all the elements as well. Um, I'm adding in the hair, obviously, in the pants and the rest of the body in, in specific areas. Softening up some of that information because it's a little bit too harsh some areas. And this drawing is actually almost completed, as you can see. Uh, I'm just going to add some additional colors to the background because I haven't added those in yet. Um, darken out the outer edges to really show that uh, this is full of energy. And because the energy is coming from the, the hands, um, I need to include some of that light, additional light in that area. So this is the final illustration. As you can see, I actually added some additional electronics as well. And this is what I came up with. If you want to have your say on what's drawn for next week's video tutorial or have some additional questions about my drawing process, please leave a comment below. I will take the feedback you guys give me and try to answer your questions while working on next week's painting. If you want to see some of my previous works, please feel free to check out the annotations on the side of this video or visit my channel for the full playlist. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you guys soon. Thank you and take care.